Hi from Farland. This is bass, which is a, a really wonderful wood for modeling. I bought this at Omni Models, and uh, I'm sure they'd be happy to ship it wherever you are. To get these braces right, I've got this little pallet knife and a gauge. I have a gauge block, once again. I put that in there underneath it and I push it down until it's completely on. Then I square it up. making sure that it's all the way down. Then tip it and pull it out. Move the gauge block down. I painted the uh, stakes before I put them in there. Now, I realize that it's not supporting a platform up above, but I just like the rhythm of all those 45 degree angles. And although my, my station's not laid out anything like dollish, um, I'm going to put these on it. I need some weathered looking yellow paint. I want it to be predominantly yellow, but um, I want it to be kind of a, a weathered yellow. Now, if I put, if you put gray or black in yellow, it turns green. Kind of an interesting phenomena. I don't know why it does that. It appears green. And I don't want green. I want weathered yellow. So what do I do to correct that? Anybody know? Well, I add a little red, of course, which makes it orangey. I'm not out of yellow. There we go. Weathered yellow. And why do I need weathered yellow, you might ask? Well, I've got to paint my, uh, my wood construction weathered yellow. Gonna move ya. Let's turn the lights on. Well, all this, uh, this wood construction along here, I'm going to paint that. Let's take a closer look before we paint it.
Okay, first thing is uh, this is not a model of Dalish. But I borrowed this element because I really like the repeating colonnade with the 45 braces, 45 degree braces. I find it quite pleasing. And the stone wall behind it, it dollars the stone wall sets another, I don't know, six or eight feet beyond it. But uh, I couldn't do that because I put the freight line in front. So it had to uh, be condensed. And you can't actually get on this platform. There's no access to it. I mean, unless, you know, you were a driver and you came in here and you really wanted to smoke, after all, it was back in the 60s, and maybe they weren't letting you smoke in the cab for some reason, you could hop out on this little catwalk on the other side of the people and no one would notice. Yeah. back in the day. Things have changed. Well, I'm going to paint all that before I ballast in front of it. You're welcome to watch, but I think you'll find it quite boring.
you wondered how close that was, it's quite close. A little closer on the other side. For the convenience of the Farlanders, so that the gap is quite narrow. Same goes for this side. Oops. I don't know if I'll ballast this or not. I might. You really won't ever see down there, I don't think. And when you're sitting on the platform, well, yeah, I guess you do see a little bit of it. Not much. Um, yeah. So, what's going on here? I need some more grass back in here. Let's widen the view out a little bit. Um, I need grass up in here. I stuck a tree there. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. I might put some trees. You know, doesn't that look inviting to go for a little hike up there? Sit in the grass and watch trains go by. It does to me. Uh, may have to stick a train spotter up there or something. So I think we're just about done with the station now. Have someone walking across there. I don't know that these are the figures that I'll keep here. A couple of fellows haven't seen each other for a long time. Or So, I think it's coming out pretty good. What do you think? You like it? You think this needs to go? Or you like that okay? I sure like it from out here. I like the colonnade. I've said that before. Well, bye from Farland.